Well, we are fewer than three hours away now from the time when businessman Donald Trump becomes the top politician in our country. International relations expert Yvonne Davis is in Washington right now for the event. She's joining us over the phone. Uh, Yvonne, good morning. Uh, first things first, please tell us what you're seeing and hearing so far during what's certainly a unique time in Washington. Yeah, I, I, I mean, this is uh, it, it's an extraordinary time when you're here during a presidential inauguration. I was a part of two under President George W. Bush. And so when it comes to traffic and excitement and protests, there's a lot going on at the same time. But what I can say to the credit of uh, United States Security Secret Service and all that's happening down there, it's been fairly pretty safe, although the news has reported a lot of protests, which will continue continue. Um, and so the concern was to see if that would mar or distract what's about to take place, which is expected to be the peaceful transition of power today at around noon. And, I and so that, yes. Uh, that is something that certainly everybody is rooting for, that this is peaceful. Uh, talk about what you're hearing from people down there regarding the transition itself. Uh, well, you, you know, there's a lot of things going on on the Hill. There, uh, As you know, the hearings are taking place. It's been really pretty intense on the Hill with, with some of the appointees or some of the suggested appointees, such as the Secretary of State Rick, Rex Tillerson and some other uh, appointees having some challenges. But the expectation is that most all will be confirmed, uh, maybe the exception of one. I know there is some questions about Secretary of Treasury uh, nominee. Uh, but for the most part, uh, on the, from the transitions team on the presidential side, there's been talks amongst a lot of journalists, whether they're online or in the mainstream or in minority media, there's been a lot of discombobulation related to that transition aspect of it. Key to the component of this is that, ironically, there will be Obama administration staff being asked to stay on board because there's a lot of positions that just have to be filled um, in the interim with uh, uh, Secretary-elect uh, nominee Tillerson. Um, this, uh, the President-elect Trump has asked uh, the State Department head to take the lead as temporary Secretary of State. So there's some concerns about that. But at the same time, all of these things that are going on, there's still more information coming down about the investigation into the Russian hacking. Um, there is uh, there's the international news that El Chapo was just is just extradited to the United States was was considered in the Obama administration sort of as a last win in terms of that situation. But for the most part, just reflecting back to what's happened, it's the 58th inaugural ball because oftentimes people get confused between the, the the 45th president of the United States and the 58th inaugural ball is to take place. So it will be quite busy, quite festive for those who particularly support President-elect Trump. And of course, as you know, Tim, a lot of money's been spent and there's been balls happening all week. I had the opportunity to actually uh, see and be with the uh, secretary of, of HUD, expected HUD, secretary of HUD, Ben Carson. He was at a ball this week at the Watergate Hotel. And so he has he is the only African-American cabinet appointee that will be in, in, in this position. But ironically enough, in the, on the, the Hispanic or Latino side, there's been a lot of pressure because there has been known nominees that have been suggested to be in the cabinet since 1989. Okay, that is international relations expert Yvonne Davis live from Washington, D.C. over the phone. Yvonne, uh, have a good time down there, and certainly we will check back with you once you get back to Connecticut. Take care. All right, see you later. All right, still ahead on Fox 61's Good Day Connecticut.